On Sunday morning, Mrs. Soup and I travelled to Lindisfarne. It's always a pleasure making this journey, and today we are returning to the island to visit the Holy Island Archaeology Project. A couple of years ago, we filmed a video launching this project with Dave Petz, stood in the very field where he hoped to be digging. Surveys had been carried out, and Dr. Petz was eager to excavate. And so, Sunday saw us returning to the island for the second season of this project. Okay, hello. Welcome to a very rainy Lindisfarne. Um, we've been digging here, Durham University and Dig Ventures, for just over two weeks, and we're looking at the archaeology of the early Anglo-Saxon monastery, which lies here. Um, we found lots of interesting things. We've got burials, which we expected to find. But what I want to talk about now is this little feature behind me, hidden in the mud. Doesn't look, doesn't look a lot, but it's an Anglo-Saxon building. And you can see there's a, a row of stones running along here. And there's this nice kind of mortar, compacted gravel floor there. And this is absolutely typical of the kind of buildings found in Anglo-Saxon monasteries. Um, there's really good parallels from places like Hartlepool and Whithorn and all the other well-excavated sites. And the stones aren't proper wall, but the wooden wooden beams had probably rested on them so they're kind of stone foundations and although we can't see it now because it's so muddy there's traces of a beam slot running running here and what we're doing at the moment is we're investigating our strange feature in the middle which has got lots of burnt clay in it we're trying to work out what this compacted mortary stuff is so it might be some kind of industri industrial or craft building but it is aligned on the two churches which are behind me so it's possible and just possible it might be related to some kind of church but I think we'd need to have a lot more evidence for that before we um, accepted that as likely. We've been finding lots of human bone when we dug here last year we found lots of disarticulated bone just all mixed up with the topsoil and a big layer of rubble that crossed the site and this year we hoped we'd find graves but for a long time we were a bit worried because all we could find was more disarticulated human bone. But over the last couple of days, we've actually found some proper in situ articulated burials, which is wonderful. It's just what we're after. We think they're from a burial ground associated with the Anglo-Saxon monastery. On the basis of last year's work, we had some children's bones and baby bones in it. So it's probably not a cemetery for the monks, probably a cemetery for either the congregation or the pilgrims who came to visit the site. And there's lots of archaeology more generally been going on on the island this year. There's been work by a, another team who found a wonderful early medieval church up on the rocky ridge known as the Huff, which is just to the south of our trenches. And they found the first really good evidence for an Anglo-Saxon church on Lindisfarne. And it's great. So after many, many years where there's been very little archaeology done on the island, in one summer we've uh, found an Anglo-Saxon church and we found some of the congregation. So that's really rather pleasing. Now you may have noticed that this site visit is a little shorter than most, <laughs> but that's because it was so incredibly wet and rainy. Apparently the weather hitherto had been glorious. Anyway, if you want to know more about this excavation and the project supporting it, check out these links available in the video description below. Okay, it's just a. I need windscreen wipers. <laughs> okay, so we've. 